Hey guys, uh, Dave here. So today's video is about what do I do every single day. People ask me, what do I do? What exactly am I doing to try to get my success club point, to try to grow the business? Um, so that's what this video is about. So I'm going to try to keep it for only to a couple minutes long. But uh, first and foremost, as you can see behind me here, I have a dry erase board. And on there I have my daily to-do list. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you exactly um, what's on my to-do list so you guys know what I'm doing every single day. Um, and then I'll show you exactly on the computer what I do with some of the tips that I have. All right, so here we go. Okay, so I'm back and here is my daily to-do list. And as you guys can see right here, um, first and foremost, the number one most important thing for me is personal development. And in here, in my office, I just finished this book right here. Um, which is the John Maxwell 24, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. I read um, this book and I try, I know they say 10 minutes of audio or video, audio or reading a day, but I do at least um, at least a half hour, usually up, upwards of an hour a day um, of reading on my personal development. So that's first and foremost, that's number one priority to me. Second, Coach Online Office. I check for new customers, thank yous, send thank yous out to people that purchase stuff, and also always check the breaking news tab. Now second, third, Facebook, I check my groups, I check my messages, I share success stories on my wall, um, I add three to five people daily, which I track, and I'm going to show you how I do that. I send three to five random messages to my challengers. And I also like some pages, like like some hobby pages, say like the movie, like I liked the, um, recently a show called Dexter that ended. I like that page because that's another place for me to go and try to meet people. Um, number four, random messages to inspire. That could be any of my challenges. It could be my coaches. It's just those people that I want to see how everybody's doing and just to reach out to them. Five is follow-ups and six is inviting, which I do every single day. So with that, I'll go right to the computer over here. And first and foremost is the coach online office. So if I go to the coach office, um, which I have up here, um, the first thing I always do, and bear with me as I'm getting logged in here, is I always see if I have new customers. And as you guys know, down here in the bottom, it says I have one new customer and I click on that and here is that new customer that was given to me through the customer program. Um, I actually got this person last night. I reached out to them. Um, it shows their program, their order history, their phone number. What I actually did here with their phone numbers, I sent them a text message and actually how I got the dialogue started. Just, hey, how are you? It's your coach Dave here. Your Beachbody coach Dave Atkins just want to say hello and I'm about to send you an email. Very short to the point. So I always, always check for customers customers first. And then what I can also do um, after that is about sending thank yous. I look at my volume and I can see people that, um, that made purchases. So if I go on and look at my volume here, I can see the people that made purchases that day. And I like to send thank yous. Um, not many people do that. I try to do this as best as I can um, and to say thank yous. And then last but not least in the breaking news is I'm always going to the breaking news every single day and I'm reading and making sure I read what all of these topics are um, under the breaking news tab. After doing that, I simply go over to Facebook and one thing you really want to stay away from is this little notification tab here. I learned this from many coaches. I try not to hit this. The first thing I do is I go right over here to the side and I go to my groups. Most importantly, our Coaches of Team Perseverance group, which is here. Um, I click and look at that. Um, and then I go back and I go on my challenge group. Right now, my one challenge groups, I check my challenge groups. I'm liking people's photos. I'm commenting on people's photos. And I'm just scrolling down, seeing everything that's in my groups. Um, and then over here on the side, I've created interest list, um, which is in one of the previous videos. I have an interest list of my prospects, friends that I added on September, October, November for this month. And I just simply click on prospects. And then these are all the people I have as prospects on here 
um, and I simply go down and I just will like or comment um, on their photo because it basically is a news feed of all my prospects. So every day I'm liking and commenting on their stuff because, as I mentioned, Facebook will recognize that we're communicating and our post will come up higher on their news feed. And it also gives me a chance, most importantly, to build a relationship with them and see what's going on with my people and my interest list. So this is my prospect interest list. And then I have one for the friends that I add and I have it back to September. And then probably I'll close September out and start inviting the people um, for from the September interest list into the challenge group. So that's, that's that. And then from here on the interest list, I go and I answer any messages, which I, I did before, but I check and see any of my messages that are here. And I always, always want to answer my messages and also um, sharing success stories, you know, which you can get in your challenge groups. That was another one of my things on my list. I will go and look for success stories and maybe put them on as a post on my wall of sharing the actual success stories. So that, that's another thing on there um, that I do under the Coach Online Office. And then adding um, three to five people a day, friends. So that's real simple is every day I make sure I go and I'll go to my friends this is my wall, and you know maybe I'll just take one of my friends here, say an Anthony Davino, and what I can do is I will then go to their friends, and I will look for people that we have mutual friends in common here. We have Ken, three mutual friends, 27 mutual friends, and I will send them a friend request just by clicking on the friend request. Now, I do not do more than about three a day. That is it. Because I don't want to be blocked by Facebook. And I do keep track of my friend request, which I showed in the other video. But if you click on this little tool thing here and go to privacy settings. And then when you're in privacy settings, you click on user use, use activity log. And then on the left hand side, you click more. And then you can click on friends. And then right here, you can see like yesterday I sent this person a friend request. It's the ones with the little round circle here and you can always if you want cancel the friend request. I usually leave them open for a couple days and then I will cancel them. So I'm adding about three people a day. I'm also sending three to five messages to my challengers or my coaches or anybody to my prospects just touching base and then I'm also maybe going to my like pages. I have like pages here um, New York Roadrunners and I may check in and engage and try to get some conversation going with there as well. So you can also find so many different hobbies. Up, just search up top for something you like, cooking or whatever it is. It's a place to meet people and build the relationship. Um, the next on the list I had was random messages to inspire. Again, it could be anybody, challengers, coaches, f even family or just friends in general. It's about helping and inspiring others. And I find it makes me feel better and them feel better by reaching out and giving inspiration to those that need it. And then I, I do all my follow-ups, and then I'm going back to this board here. I do all my follow-ups, and I do my invites. And I repeat that every day, and I make sure every day I'm going through these six things. And the most important one I'm going to tell you is right there, is personal development. Then the Coach Island Office, then Facebook, and stay away from that notification tab. Um, and I do not get caught up on the news feed, guys. I do not sit here... Um, and go on to the main page of Facebook and go down the news feed. To be honest, I could be here forever. Um, it's not something that's going to help grow my business. I may look very quickly, but I'll say 99.9% .9 of my time I am spending in my groups and in my interest list over here. And then that's it. And then I get out of I get out of Facebook and I'm done for that time. And um, that's basically it. So. I hope, I hope this video helped you with some things I do every day and um, I'm looking forward to you guys growing more and more in the Coach Basics group and I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.